Three, two, one, go. Hello, welcome, creepers. This is Cripsilog. But the Yin's a podcast, Barbara. We are your hosts. I'm Gideon. This is Glenn. Good morning. Happy Monday. Here in Cripsilog, we talk about creepy stories, murder, true crime, conspiracy theories, and what else, Glenn? Movies, documentaries, TV series, and mystery stories. Yeah. Cripsilog is a Spotify exclusive podcast. So you can listen to Cripsilog ng libre ah, only on Spotify. Yes, and if you want to, to uh, start your own podcast, you can download Anchor or go to anchor.fm. We have all the tools there to start your own show. Yes. What is up? Happy Monday. <laughs> Kumusta? Okay lang, okay lang. Uh, yeah. Uh, ako, ano ba? Pansin niyo naman ang bagong setup. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ay, wow. May bagong mic. So, we're... Titesting naman natin, no? Pero we're not sure how this will turn out. Sana maganda. Yeah. Sana. Okay. Yes. Uy, shout out natin. Um, forever okay. nag-recommend sa atin ng mics. <laughs> oh, yeah. Si JC. Sa Halo Halo Show. Uh, shout out na rin kay Rika. Kasi yun, ina-endorse nila yun eh. Yung Elgato. Yes. So, ito. Sa... Tayo naman, yes. bilang mga fan. <laughs> Pagka, Fletcher ano, fan, ganyan, so... Ano, what would JC do? So, may message natin sa JC. <laughs> Thank you, JC Tevez. Maraming salamat. Ayan. Okay. Uh... An- Oh, nga pala. So, this is the part 3 ng aking uh, trilogy. You may theme na pare-pareho. May similar uh, story na pinag-game ko, di ba? Finale. Okay, silent eh. tayo. So, ito yung finale. <laughs> uh, this is, ito yung third story natin. So, the first one is uh, the Gonzalez family murders. Yung uh, kay Seth Gonzalez. Next one, yung ano, nangyari sa New Zealand, sa Bain. Uh, family, di ba? Yung kay David Bain. Si David, si Robin, or si Belial? The Lyal, sorry. Naku, yung mga naglalaro ng Diablo dyan. <laughs> Sila Coco and Gratch. Ayan. And, eto, lastly, eto. Uh, ang title to ay ang Broken Arrow Killings. Ay! Kusan ba to? Right. Ha? Ano? Kusan ba tong Broken Arrow? May kulat na narinig ah. Oh, okay. So, you're in for a ride, di ba? Para to sa mga, ano, magandang uh, uh, kwento to. Ay, nako, ano tayo. Hindi naman maganda, no? Magandang nangyari. I mean, true crime, di ba? And at, towards the end, uh, tingnan nyo kung tama ba yung hula nyo dun sa uh, theme na napili, napili ko para sa trilogy na to. Ano, game? Game na ba tayo? Start na po ba tayo? Start na. Let's do yeah, this. Start na po tayo. Okay. So, ang Broken Arrow Killings ay nangyari sa Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. So, ito yung tawag sa city na yun. So, noong 2007, it was named uh, the 22nd safest city in Oklahoma. Not until hmm. July 2015. Wait, ilan ba ang cities doon 20? 20 <laughs> 22 <then>? lang pala. <laughs> Number 22 pa. Hindi, <laughs> hindi. <laughs> Binida-bida pa. Nakita ko sa wiki. Ayan. So, itong info na to. Kasi doon sa 709 Magnolia Court, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, nakatira yung siyam na miyembro ng Beaver, Beaver family. So, ang pamilyang ito ay binubuo nila David, 52 years old. In April, uh, 44 years old sila yung parents. Tapos may mga anak sila. Si Robert, 18 years old. Michael, 16. Crystal, 13. Daniel, 12. Christopher, 7. Victoria, 5. And Autumn, na 2 years old. So, malaking pamilya, no? Itong Damn. Bever. Ang dami. Uh, the family is hardly a healthy one. 
Ito kasi sila David and April apparently were physically and psychologically abusive sa mga anak nila. Ay? Sabi nga ni Robert, Robert yung pangana, he felt na uh, yung parents niya hated children kasi based do sa pagtrato nila sa mga anak nila. Na parang ang sabi nga ni Robert, nag-anak lang sila to get tax breaks. Kasi di ba, mas madaming anak, mas mababa yung babayaran mong tax. So, sobrang naging fascinated sila sa two crime. Yung fascination nila, umabot sa puntong gusto na rin nila ng fame na tinatamasa ng mga shooters. Kung ano man yung tinatamasa ng mga shooters. They wanted to be the talk of the town because of doing something similar. They fantasize na kung may binabalik ng shooting somewhere sa Amerika, shooting na hindi, ano, barilan to, mga mukha nila yung naka-flash sa screen. These shooters became their heroes. 